fantastic day, of course. Um, uh, advocate retrenchments, yet another wave of massive retrenchments in the mining industry. And the minister says the government is alarmed. Um, surely you should do more than that. Minister Nwako Ramatlodi is deeply concerned about these impending retrenchments of mine workers. So worried is he that he in fact called this agent meeting today to discuss with the stakeholders. Of greatest concern to him was that some of these things he just saw uh, announcements in the, in the media by some uh, mining houses. Um, and he basically informed them today that uh, there are due processes, due legal processes to be followed when you are going to retrench. Uh, there is the section 189 of the LRA and section 52 of the MPRDA. Those sections, in fact, are imperative in the sense that you cannot just say willy-nilly and say today we are going to retrench X number of workers. Uh, there are, you, you have to adhere to those sections, uh, both of them equally. And once you implement, you adhere to those sections, it means that you also have to come and consult with us here as the Department of Mineral Resources. So the decision today was that a task team should be established to look at all these impending retrenchments because indeed we want to create jobs, we don't want to lose jobs. Now, I'm told that um, notices of the retrenchments have been coming in thick and fast to your department here. In fact, I'm told that the numbers that you are currently sitting with that companies have notified you that they intend to, to retrench. We talk about around 10,000 people that are about to be to be laid off. That is absolutely shocking. Yes, remember the purposes of these notices are not just meant for compliance sake. We as a department, we have to interrogate it. We have to interrogate that together with the set companies intending to, 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 to retrench. Um, and in our engagements with them, will probably want to look at other alternative innovative ways in which perhaps we can mitigate against these impending job losses because it's not in our country's interest to lose jobs. It's true that uh, these notices are beginning to come um, and they're beginning to come more so because the minister has already raised the concern that he, he read about some of these uh, job losses in the media uh, without having been informed first because they should be informed first. Uh, the law due process must be followed before anybody can just uh, pronounce that uh, we are going to retrench X number of workers. Of course, uh, we understand that uh, each mine worker in this country, on average, supports about 10 dependents. So if you talk about 10,000 people to be put out of work amid the high levels of unemployment, uh, it, it will be disastrous for the country. Do you, as the government, have any ideas, innovative ideas on how this can be prevented? We believe that uh, if we put our heads together uh, it should be possible to get some kind of solution. Um, you'll recall that Minister Ramatlodi last week at his budget was speech. He actually announced that he has issued around 36 uh, mining licenses to, to new entrants into, 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 into the, 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 the resources sphere. Uh, and we believe through issuance of those licenses, uh, there is a likelihood that around six to 10,000 jobs will be created as well. But we are basically saying we are issuing this license, the objective of which is to say our people should be employed, not that our people should lose jobs. And mindful of the fact that, you know, a business has its own upswings and its own downswings, but we shouldn't at the slightest provocation and say because uh, commodities are down now. The easiest way out is to retrench. So holistically, uh, through this task team, after re receiving all these notices, we hope that uh, once we put our heads together, some kind of solution would be found. There, the advisor to minerals, Minister Ngwako Ramatlodi. Well, let's stay with.